The current laws allow only local contractors to bid for contracts valued at 10 million and below, but the National Procurement Commission wants these to increase to 50 million kina. We're working on an amendment. The government wants us to increase the trust law limit. That is to increase the trust law limit to about 50 million and, and many other amendments so that nationals are given contracts valued uh, less than 50 million. Currently, we have less than 10 million, so all the district and provinces, all your contracts would go to only national companies. The National Procurement Commission facilitates government contracts worth over 5 million kina, and with the decentralization of functions to districts and provinces, so far 46 districts have had district procurement committees established and includes Nipa Kutubu and Komo Magarima, who swore in the board members today. These districts are allowed to procure goods and services worth 2.5 million kina and below. Provincial procurement committees can procure goods and services up to 5 million kina. NPC records show only 15 provinces out of the 22 have so far established provincial procurement committees. Apart from district and provincial procurement committees, special procurement committees have also been established and Port Mosby General Hospital had its members sworn in today. These special committees can procure goods and services up to a million kina. Members of these committees thanked NPC, expressing how easy it will be for them to manage services at the district level. Uh, so far we have been uh, uh, dealing with the uh, CSTB and PSTB for, for all these years, and sometimes we have the project being delayed, and the process and so forth. And then, uh, but, I, uh, but I see that this uh, program committee taken back to the respective districts will uh, uh, help speed up the uh, project on time. And this is a relief to me and my treasurer and my project team uh, in creating the uh, district uh, procurement commission in my district. That saves a lot of time in going into the provincial headquarters. Uh, bringing uh, documents up and down. The newly sworn members of these committees were also taken through on their roles and responsibilities as members of the committee. Ruth Rungula, National NTV News.